Hello, everybody. Welcome into Talking Fitchburg on this Wednesday, July 7th, 2021. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you had a wonderful wet day out there. We got some rain, some needed rain, uh, and uh, some cool temperatures uh, to kick things off uh, on a Wednesday. And as you wrap up your evening, we're glad you're tuning in with us here on Talking Fitchburg. We got a very uh, great jam packed show for you. We'll be taking you out to uh, High V today. The My Meal My Way program kicked off today in a partnership with uh, Dane County, Hy-Vee, Fitchburg Senior Center. And uh, we'll uh, show you uh, exactly what you can do every Wednesday now to uh, get a meal there uh, as part of uh, the Senior Center uh, coming up here in the uh, digest. And we're gonna be talking uh, about uh, the Fitchburg Festival of Speed happening this weekend, rain or shine event. Uh, we'll be talking with the event uh, coordinator and uh, uh, from race day events, Victoria will be here uh, to share all the great information uh, and uh, a whole, it's something for everyone. Like it is the true event for something for everyone. So uh, we'll have that coming up for you in just a little bit of time. But first we turn our attention to the senior center. Uh, we were talking about meals. So I was like, Hey, we should throw this in there. Cause this is happening too. home delivered meals and little John's partnership. This is pretty cool. And it says here, we're happy to announce that we'll continue to deliver little John's meals on Tuesdays and Fridays. Thanks to the unbelievable, uh, unbelievably generous organization. Yeah, they are really awesome. If you haven't heard of this nonprofit group, well, here is the synopsis. Little John is probably serving as the community's home for healthy chef quality and affordable meals created while decreasing local food access. Social workers will be uh, uh, compiling home delivered meals uh, reassessments uh, coming up. These assessments are done annually to make sure everyone who is getting meals delivered continues to meet the uh, uh, eligibility criteria set forth by Dane County. Also, we have a Kids Fest at the uh, Fitchburg Farmer's Market. We're talking food all day here today on Talking to Fitchburg. Get excited here. Kids Fest at the market will be next uh, Thursday, July 15th. Live music and ice cream fundraiser for Woods Hollow Children's Center will be going on from three to six uh, and uh, stop on out to get all your favorites. Plus uh, again, enjoying all the kids activities and uh, some ice cream uh, as part of that uh, event. It's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, summer's going by fast. If we're already at the kids uh, fest for uh, the market. So hopefully we'll see you out there for that great event. All right. Wisconsin state patrol, July law of the month has to do with teens and it's called teens. Let's make this a safer, sober summer. Mm hmm. Wisconsin teens and alcohol, a uh, mixed news topic. The good news, the percent of high schoolers who drink alcohol has dropped over the last decade. The bad news, according to information available on the Wisconsin Department of Health Services website, Wisconsin ranks in the top 10 states for the percent of high schools, uh, high schoolers. <laughs> I did that this morning, too. I, I want to say high high schoolers, <laughs> but that does not work that way. Uh, high schoolers who uh, drank alcohol recently in fourth for a uh, percent of uh, high schoolers who ever drank alcohol. So what's this mean? Well, just like any driver, a driver under the age of 21 can be charged with drunk driving if they are above the legal limit or show signs of alcohol impairment. In addition, Wisconsin's uh, absolute sobriety, not a drop law. Drivers under the age of 21 face fines and other penalties for a blood alcohol level below 0 0.08. Data shows that drinking any amount of alcohol before driving increases crash risk among teens drivers as compared to older drivers. Teen drivers have much higher risk for being involved in a crash than an older driver at the same blood alcohol concentration. Even if the BAC level is below the legal limit for adults, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, teens are more likely than anyone else to be killed in an alcohol related crash. Even though the minimum legal drinking age in every state is 21, data shows 16% of 15 to 18 year old drivers involved in fatal crashes in 2018 had been drinking. So teens, uh, we got to keep it safe uh, this summer. And uh, as it says here in Wisconsin, our goal is zero, uh, says uh, Burrell, zero teen, teens drinking and driving and zero lives preventable deaths of Wisconsin roadways. Let's make this a safe and sober summer. Uh, again, coming from Wisconsin DOT, and that was the Wisconsin Patrol Superintendent 
uh, Anthony Burrell saying that. All right, other uh, news here. Uh, we're talking about a scavenger hunt. You looking for something to do with the family? I've got one for you here. Uh, our next scavenger hunt is up. Are you up for a challenge? This is over at Lucher Family uh, uh, Center there. It says here, uh, uh, head out to uh, Lewis Nine Springs Eway Trail and uh, head to get started. Find all 10 signs. Learn about Wisconsin's amphibious, uh, amphibians. It's a tough word there. And win prizes while having fun. Andrew, this is a family fun event. Like, I can just see you doing this with the kids. You can just cut them loose. And you can chase after them and see if they find all 10. Tell them they can't go home until they find all 10. <laughs> Yeah, your boys would just be fun to watch on that one. Uh, but then there, there's something you need to watch, Andrew, uh, for the boys, by the way. It's Fight the Bite with all those uh, sporting events going on, like soccer, Little League, uh, helping on the farm. All those summer activities involve kids uh, and can put them in contact with mosquitoes and ticks. In fact, we were shooting a story today, Andrew, and I got like two mosquito bites from that. I hadn't seen a mosquito all year, and I got bit by two of them today. Uh, so they're there. They're out there in ticks as well. Keep yourself and your kids safe all season long. Fight the bite by applying bug spray before you head outdoors. And you can learn more about uh, fighting uh, the uh, Fight the Bite campaign from dhs.wisconsin.gov backslash tick backslash bite prevention. And stay safe out there. Yeah, check your kids out every time they come in uh, from being outside. You just never know what those ticks especially if you live in the rural areas there with uh, wooded, uh, grassy areas. All right, finally, turning our attention to the Better Business Bureau and warning uh, everyone about uh, beware of hotel scams. Here's what we're hearing here. Planning on staying in a hotel soon? Keep your personal information protected since tourists and business travelers are often considered the easiest targets. Hotels provide scammers an easy path towards their goal of trying to separate a traveler from their cash. Here are five common hotel scams to be aware of. The fake websites. This is a big one. This is, uh, I've seen this on a national story. When making an online hotel reservation, make certain that the website is legitimate. Scammers are famous for creating lookalike web pages that lure consumers into providing credit card information. I almost got sucked into one of these folks. I'm telling you. They are real. American Hotel and Lodging Association is a BB national partner. They provide some tips to follow before booking a hotel room. Fake food delivery. Make sure that the menus left in the hotel rooms are authentic. Dining in can feel like a tempting option, especially after a day of traveling or exploration. But you could end up ordering from a restaurant that doesn't even exist. Scammers will distribute fake menus to rooms with phone numbers that connect the caller to them instead of the hotel for real business. They collect the caller's credit card information over the phone and never deliver the food. By the way, if you're providing your credit card stuff over, I've stayed in a lot of hotels, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You, uh, you shouldn't have to be giving that information over. I go to the front desk right away if that's the case. Fake front desk calls. Hotel guests may receive a late night phone call from someone impersonating the front desk. The caller asked for the credit card information, claiming there was a problem with the credit card on file. They may say it was declined. They need to re-verify payment information. Just think of it. Whatever it is, probably sounds too good to be true. Hang up and go down to the front desk and uh, tell them in person and verify that it's actually real. Free Wi-Fi connection when staying in a hotel. Free internet access is often uh, touted as a benefit. Make sure that you uh, check the Wi-Fi before you actually use it. Passwords, card to card information, not a good idea. Again, you got to be aware of that before joining any network. Make sure you look and see what the actual network is called or check in with the hotel front desk and make sure that you uh, stay out of trouble there because... That's just not a good one. For more information on this and other scams, I encourage you to check out the BBB Scam Tracker at bbb.org backslash scam tracker. And make sure you turn these in, folks. You got to turn these in when people are uh, doing this thing. Yeah, that's the only way we're going to stop this from happening. All right, that is it for our headlines. Coming up next, we open up the digest. We're taking you out to High V Market Grill for my meal. My way, next right here on Talking Fitchburg.